Hey there. Hi. What's your name? I'm Jackie. Good to meet you, Jackie. How you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? Pretty good. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Alameda, California. Alameda. Um, what's it like out there? Um, it's pretty safe and quiet out there. It's a lot of families in that town. You went to high school out there? Uh, yes. What was that like? It was all right. Um, I still keep in touch with some of my friends from there today. Mm -hmm. um, what year did you graduate? I graduated in 2013. 2013, so pretty recent. Uh, yeah, four years ago. Um, do you go to college? Uh, yes, I'll be done next month. Oh, cool. Good for you. Thanks. Um, what are you studying in college? I'm studying animation. Oh, nice. Um, let's see. Um, what motivated you to do that? Like, were, were there certain, like, animations or things that you were super into that made you feel like you wanted to do that? Well, I was always into art and drawing, and I got more interested in, like, um, doing special effects when I was in high school. So I decided to go into that. What, um, what program do you mostly use? Um, for the animations, we usually use Maya mm -hmm. for the 3D stuff. Do you do a lot of like character modeling, like stuff like that? Um, yeah, we've done that. Um, my main focus is on compositing, you know, like green screens. Oh, cool. Those kind of effects. Um, do you have brothers and sisters? Uh, yeah, they're both younger than me. Do you have a good relationship with them? I have a good relationship with my younger brother. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to do when you finish school? Um, get a job, hopefully. <laughs> do you have um, like a dream job? Um, I'm not really sure. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do? Um, like hobbies? Yeah, like anything. Um, I like making jewelry. Oh, cool. What kind of, uh, like what kind of jewelry? Like necklaces or bracelets. Oh, cool. How do you, um, how do you do that? Like, do you like get the metals together and like solder things together or? Uh, I usually get like the beads and like metals together and then I, um, Put them inside the beads and then like attach them to each other. Mm -hmm. um, what's one of the best ones that you've made? Like one that you really, really like? What does it look like? Um, there's beads and like rose, these giant rose beads on them. And then at the bottom of the pendant, there's a fairy, like a gold fairy. Mm -hmm. I think that one's my favorite one that I made. Um, have you done much acting before? Um, yeah, I started doing some film acting last year. I've mainly just done short films for student projects. Oh, cool. Like, um, what kind of short films, like, what were they about? Um, they're usually, like, kind of, like, sci-fi or horror. Some of them are kind of comedies. Um, you're able to... Do you do like a lot of sci-fi stuff like on a green screen? Um, I haven't done any on a green screen yet, but some of the stories are kind of sci-fi. Oh, I see. Yeah. Like what was one of the ones that you did? Like what was it about? Um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> That's okay. Or maybe it was kind of more of like a 
trying to figure out how to describe it. Um, sorry. Take your time. <laughs> oh, no worries. We can move on. Okay. Um, let's see, what else? What's something that you really, really liked about Alameda, or that you do like? Um, I like how it's like quiet and safe there. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, there's like a lot of shopping, like not too far from my house. There's a naval base out there? Uh, yeah, it's on the other side of the islands. I've been there a few times. It's pretty cool. I think I remember there was, um, they do like a big thing for Halloween out there. Oh yeah, on the Navy ship? Yeah. Have you ever been there for that? Uh, I haven't been to the parties they've had there, but I've been on the ship before. Um, what's the ship like? Um, I think it's pretty cool. It's really big. Um, I've toured this ship a few times. Um, I like the flight deck because you can see the you can see the San Francisco Bay Area from there. Mm -hmm. You can see the bridge and the cityscape. It's really nice. So I thought of this question when I woke up for some reason about which of the seven deadly sins do you think is just like the worst or the most harmful? Um, so the ones that I could think of off the top of my head, which ones can you think of off the top of your head? I can think of greed, lust, um, I think envy or envy. pride. Uh-huh. Um, can't think of the other three at the moment. <laughs> Let's see, there's there's wrath. Oh, that's right. Pride, there's gluttony. Is that all of them? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's one more. Um, let's think about it for a minute. I can't think of the other one either. Uh, out of those ones, I think either um, greed or wrath would be the worst, because it can lead you to do like really bad things. Yeah, I think so too. Like to humanity. Yeah. It seems like gluttony. It's like, well, that just kind of hurts yourself. Yeah. I suppose pride too. Yeah. Unless that just be yourself I think I suppose yourself and then maybe the people that you're in a relationship with yeah but I feel like greed and wrath it's like that can destroy like an entire society yeah especially wrath I think that'd be the worst because mm -hmm. you can do a lot of harm to people one of the earliest memories that you have? Um, there's one from when I was like a baby, I think. We still, we lived in like Daly City. No, then we moved to Alameda. Like I have one of like, we can sit down in my crib like at night before going to sleep and looking out the window. That's like my, it's one of the earliest memories I have. Hmm. I mean, it's random, but I remember it. Yeah. I feel like the early memories are, they do seem to be like the most random. Yeah. I remember I rolled over and like looked out the window at like the city before going to sleep.
Did you play sports in high school or were you like more into theater or music or? I was a little bit more into theater. I did play sports when I was in um, elementary school. Mm -hmm. What sports did you like to play? My, my favorite one was soccer. I did a little bit of tennis and basketball too. Do you play any sports now? Um, not at the moment. But if I did, I'd want to play soccer again. After you graduate, do you think that you'll want to stay in the Bay Area or do you think that you'll want to go somewhere else? Um, I'd like to go somewhere else eventually. We all have to see what happens. Mm -hmm. What, um, are there certain cities that seem like really interesting or a city that you would really like to live in? Um, I really or... like Seattle and New York looks pretty cool too. I haven't been to New York yet. Mm -hmm. What's the farthest place you've ever traveled? Um, I think the farthest place was out of the country. Um, I'd say either Mexico or maybe Alaska. Or Canada, if that's like further up north. You went to Alaska once? Oh uh, yeah, I actually went this year. Oh, what was it like? Um, it was really nice. There wasn't any snow when I went. And they have like really beautiful um, nature scenery. Mm -hmm. What time of year did you go? Um, I went in the summer in July. Was it hot? Um, on some days it was warm. Like, I think my favorite town was Juneau that we went to. Mm -hmm. I think, believe that's the capital of the state. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Juneau or... I feel like you always hear about Juneau of Anchorage. Yeah, I didn't get to go to that town, but I want to go there. Mm -hmm. I've never been that far north before. It seems really interesting, though. Yeah, it was my first time going north. Because normally we've just gone like south to like tro tropical places. Mm -hmm. Have you been to Los Angeles much? Oh uh, yeah, I've been there a few times. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. Just the air isn't so yeah. great. <laughs> <laughs> when there's those fires like up here, I actually went down there for like the weekends. The air quality was actually better than up here. <laughs> Yeah, rare, huh? Yeah. It's kind of sad. <laughs> yeah, I think they get a lot more fires up there or down there than we do yeah. up here. But that was really bad that mm -hmm. I feel like it was like a good week where the air quality was just like really terrible up here. Yeah. And like when I drove by San Francisco, it looked like we had LA smog. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what do you do for work? Uh, right now I just work at a store and do this uh, modeling or acting. Um, what are your, uh, what's that like to, to be a model? Like what are the jobs like? Like what's, uh, what's your day to day like? Um, I mainly have like done like more photo shoots and stuff, but like recently this week I got uh, signed to an agency. It's for more fit modeling. Mm -hmm. We just like work with the designers when they're like um, developing their clothes. Kind of like a test model for the um, outfits before they put them out to the public. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. <laughs> Have you gotten any jobs like that yet or is it just, is it very new? Um, that one's very new. Mm -hmm. I've mainly done like photo shoots or fashion shows. I think this is the first time I've modeled for an artist. What are the fashion shows like? Um, it depends on the place, but sometimes it can be a little uh, chaotic because like everyone's like rushing to um, get ready before the show. But I like the ones I've done so far. Um, let's see. 
Um, do you like movies? Uh, yes, I like movies. <laughs> um, what's the best movie you've seen most recently? Um, <clears throat> most recently I saw Thor, which I liked. I really liked the uh, special effects on it. Mm -hmm. I thought they did a really good job with it. I was reading something where they, a lot of the people that do those visual effects, it seems like a lot of it is in Vancouver. Have you heard that as well? Oh yeah, I've heard that too. I think there's a lot of companies up there too for visual effects. It's another place I was interested in going. <laughs> Vancouver. Yeah. I didn't get to go there yet, but maybe next time I go up there. <laughs> Would you move there if there was, um, like a job there? Possibly. Mm -hmm. I'd like to go back to Canada and visit again. There's a, cause there's like a lot of stuff to see there. Mm -hmm. What part of Canada were you in when you visited last? Um, I was in Victoria. Oh. It's pretty close to Vancouver, but mm -hmm. we didn't have time to go there. I lived in Victoria for about six months. Oh, really? Yeah, when I was way back when, back in 19, when I was 19. So this oh. would have been back in like, this was like 99, 2000. Yeah. How did you like it there? I loved it. Did, how did you like it? Yeah, I thought it was really nice there. Yeah. It's like, it's a special little place. Yeah. I just wish I had like more time there because I only um, had like a day there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there really is a lot to see. Yeah. But yeah, if I go to Canada again, I'd like to go to Vancouver or Montreal. So that's like on the other side. <laughs> mm -hmm. Montreal seems really interesting to me too. Yeah. They do, I think they do shoot movies like in that area too sometimes. Mm -hmm. I feel like they do a lot of movies more and more, uh, like around Toronto, it seems like. Yeah. Toronto, Montreal. I think they shot, uh, did you see that movie, It? Yeah, I saw it. Did you like it? Yeah, it was really good. Did you think it was scary? Um, some parts a little bit, but I wasn't too scared by it. I think they shot, um, I think they shot a lot of it, like that little town that they live in. I think a lot of that is like right around Very Toronto. Nice. What's the best job you've ever had? Um, I think he was working on a movie set. Was it for a short film or a um, like a like a feature film? Um, it was for like a feature film, but I was like an extra on it. Mm -hmm. It was still really interesting. What's the worst job you've ever had? Uh, being a swimming teacher. I did that for a day. It was not my thing. <laughs> oh, how come? Uh, I had this one class of like these fourth grade boys who were just like really rowdy, kind of out of control. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, yeah, that's not my thing. <laughs> <laughs> the toddler classes were great though. I liked them. They were really easy to work with. The smaller kids. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's a lot easier to teach. <laughs> and the teacher who had the um, fourth grade class after me, um, she said she had trouble with those boys too. Uh oh. Okay, so it wasn't just me. <laughs> Where
Were they just like very rowdy? Like they didn't listen? Yeah. They would yeah. like pull um, these swimming toys like off the side of the pool. And I like told my manager about them. He didn't really do anything. <laughs> Have you ever been to Robert? I think it's called Robert Crown Beach in Alameda. Oh, yeah, I've been there. Can you swim in the bay? Um, I think you can. Have you ever? Um, I've swim a little bit on the beach, but I haven't gone extremely far in. Mm -hmm. Is the water pretty cold? Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like Ocean Beach better. Because I like how they have the, those giant waves. There's um, sand dollars and shells on the beach. Where is it? Um, it's in San Francisco. Oh, okay. Like on, um, like on the north side or like the, I, I guess believe the it's on side? the north side. I think it goes like really far down too. I see. And the beach is really clean over there, I think. Yeah. Or at least it has been when I've gone. <laughs> What would you say you've done that you feel most proud of so far? Um, sorry, I'm going to think about it for a moment. <laughs> um, when I was 10, I published a poem in a book, which I'm proud of. Oh, that's really cool. What was the poem about? Um, it's basically about like, uh, my features, but I like, um, use like metaphors to describe them. Mm -hmm. And then, um, being signed to an agency recently, I'm proud of too. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, what about you? Uh, most proud of? Um, that's a really good question. I feel like I ask people that a lot, but I, I don't know. I'd have to think. Give me, I guess, give me a minute. Let me think okay, about sure. it. Sure. Um, well, I was, uh, I guess I'm really proud that I went to grad school. Nice. I feel like that was a really, that was a really big part of my life. Um, it was probably... I mean, like gearing up and like putting together a body of work and like refining the body of work that I feel like that was like, I was in the studio in those days, like at least three, four mornings a day. Nice. Um, I was working a swing shift, so I didn't have to go into work until 2 p.m. So it worked like two until um, 11 every day. Nice. And, uh, and I had just gotten divorced. So um, my whole life was really just like, I would wake up in the morning, I would go into the studio I'd work for a few hours and then I would come home, shower and go to work. And, um, and it was just kind of like, and then repeat. Cause I was like building this portfolio cause I really wanted to go to a good art school. Nice. And, um, and then, <clears throat> uh, I went and I visited a bunch of schools and I interviewed at a couple of schools and then, um, I got into Cal arts and, and then paid for it all myself, still paying for it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, <didn't> either. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, I would say that was probably the most I've ever like consistently like worked on one thing and then applied and then, you know, actually like had a little success, like yeah. got into a really good school and that's really good. Yeah. So I would say that was pretty good. And then 
and then I'm, I'm teaching right now. So I'm teaching a lot of graphic design classes and stuff like that. Oh, cool. And, um, and like, I wouldn't have that job if I didn't have my degree, you know, cause to teach at that school, they require that you have a master's degree. So, nice. so it's opened some nice doors and I feel like the lifestyle of teaching college is it's like, it's really nice. You know, I've, yeah. I've been working since I was, um, uh, 16. So yeah, same here. <laughs> I've had a lot of really crappy jobs. So this is I really, feel you there. <laughs> yeah. What was your first job? Um, the swimming pool. Oh yeah. Yeah. I started off as like teacher there. Then I like switched to being a cashier instead. We would like help people sign up for classes and answer the phone, stuff like that. Oh yeah. Do you have a good relationship with your family? Like with your mom and dad? Uh, mostly. <laughs> Yeah. It's kind of like as good as you can, right? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I feel like those are the most challenging relationships. It could be worse. <laughs> yeah. What's something that you would like to see or do before you die? Um, I would like to go to Europe. I really want to go to Ireland and Italy and France the most. Mm -hmm. Ireland seems really nice. Mm -hmm. I really want to go there. <laughs> and Australia too. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just want to do a lot of traveling. Do you have any family that's in foreign countries? Um, I think on my mom's side of the family, we have some Italian relatives in Italy, but I haven't met any of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're halfway through. Um, the camera always cuts out like right at 30 minutes. Okay. Um, uh, do you want to have like a break? Do you feel good to keep going? I can keep going. Okay. Let's try the three minute thing right when I click the button again. 
Okay. So I'll keep. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Take a minute. Um. So I'll press the button and then just be as still as you can for three minutes. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one, and. Do you have certain characters that you like to do or um, like certain type of genres or characters that you like doing when you act? Do you have some that you like really like to do more than others? Um, comedy roles are pretty fun. Yeah. And I also like some uh, dramatic roles too. Mm -hmm.
Um, are you in a relationship? Um, not at the moment. I got out of one recently. Was it a long relationship? Uh, yeah. Do you feel sad? No, uh, more mixed emotions. Mm -hmm. How long were you guys dating? Uh, two years. That's a good, that's a good chunk of time. Yeah. Would you like to have children one day? Um, I'm not sure. Not at the moment. <laughs> Maybe in the future. What would you like people to know about you? Um, that I'm not as serious as I look, that I'm more laid back and a bit more fun to be around. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes people assume that because I'm quiet, I'm like super serious or really shy. That's actually not true. Mm -hmm. What about you? Um, <laughs> um, man, that's a tough question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me think. I kind of just thought of that one at random too. I've never asked anyone <laughs> that before. Um, Well, uh, I guess I'm kind of at a, I'm just kind of in a strange place in my life right now, uh, where I'm thinking a lot about, um, I guess I've been thinking a lot about honestly, like morality, like that sounds like super yeah. heavy and kind of boring, but, um, I've just been thinking about that a lot, I guess this entire year. And, um, and I, I don't know why, just that I want people to know that I'm a good person, that I'm trying hard to be a good person, I guess. That's good. <laughs> I guess that's what I, I don't know. I'm just, I feel like I'm trying. I'm trying hard in my life to just try to like, um, to try to do right by people, I yeah. guess. Um, and it, and it just, it just kind of seems like when you like look around at the world that we live in right now that I feel like there aren't, maybe there aren't enough people that, um, are trying to do that, I guess. Yeah. Like trying to do right by others and like thinking about, um, just what it means to be a good human being, what it means to be, yeah. what it means to be like a good citizen, you know, like what does it mean to be a good citizen these days? Like what does it even mean to be an American nowadays? Yeah, really? Because <laughs> it, it seems to me like the, I'm rattling on and on.
And then when I go back and I hear these, then I'm always like, oh, shut up, shut up, <laughs> shut up, stop talking. But That's um, cool. <laughs> but uh, I feel like, yeah, so I guess I'll just say that. I, I feel like, um, I don't know, it seems like the culture seems to be almost like just like get whatever you can get out of the society. Yeah, and everything's been kind of thrown up in the air recently. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Like yeah. take what you can get and like, kind of like screw everybody else. And, um, yeah. and I, I just think that there, I think that society could be a lot better if people, if that shifted a little bit. Yeah. You know? I'm not saying like people have to like, we have to like live in some communist country or something. I'm just saying like, I think people could maybe just think a little bit more about society. Yeah. I kind of just like went off there. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, it's cool. <laughs> so um, it seems like Alameda is a pretty kind of like a, it's got kind of a small town vibe. Um, when you're there, do you feel like you like recognize people, like people that you grew up with and stuff like that? Is it kind of like oh, yeah, a small it's... town feel like that? Or is yeah. it like, no, people totally like are moving and transient and stuff like that? Oh, yeah, it's definitely as a small town feel to it. Like I do run to people I know. Sometimes when I go to the shopping center, mm -hmm. like sometimes when I go and I'll see like maybe one person I know, but not all the time. It does happen a lot, though. Do you like that about Alameda, or do you ever feel like it would be nice to go somewhere where where no one knows you? I think it might be nice to go where, like, less people know you. Mm -hmm. like, I've always wanted to move to a city, because I've been in a small town pretty much my entire life. Yeah, I like going to San Francisco a lot. Do you feel like you could live there? I could if I was rich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you feel like the lifestyle would, like you would like the lifestyle, or do you feel like it might feel like too crowded? Um, I might be fine with it, but the traffic can be kind of bad sometimes. Mm -hmm. And the parking too. If I had like a garage, I could park my car and it'd be all good. <laughs> San Francisco seems like a nice city too because it's um it's uh like I feel like once you get out of the downtown area a lot of it is actually like residential like you can totally yeah. have a house there you know and still be in San Francisco versus I feel like in New York City unless you're like in an outer borough or something you know you yeah. you're like you're m most likely going to be living in an apartment building so it's like very urban yeah so San Francisco seems like a nice balance. Yeah, there's always like stuff uh, going on there that you can do. Yeah, seems. for sure. Always something. <laughs> do you go very often? Uh, maybe a couple times a month I go. Oh, pretty often. Have you ever taken the ferry into the city? Oh, yeah, I've done that um, a couple of times. <laughs> like if I'm trying to go to... Like, if I had to go to Fisherman's Wharf or something, I would take it over. But I don't usually go to that part very often. Mm -hmm. Lots of tours. <laughs> yeah. What do you usually like to do when you go? Uh, I like going shopping. <laughs> <laughs> they also have, like, some nice, like... Parks are kind of like hiking areas, like at Land's End. Mm -hmm. It's more like on the outer part. Or at least like further away from like the city buildings and stuff.
Do you have any pets? Um, not at the moment. I used to have a hamster though. How long do how long do hamsters live for? Um, I think mine lived for two or three years. Mm -hmm. I forget the average life um, expectancy. I think it's somewhere around that amount. It was a blonde hamster. I named him Fred. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had other pets besides dogs? Mm-hmm. Um, we, we had a cat. Um, yeah, mostly just the two dogs, and then we had a cat, and then um, we have a snake that's in the oh, nice. case back here. I've always wanted a dog or a cat. Like, I love calico cats. I think they're so cute. <laughs> yeah. Are you allergic to cats? Um, no. Yeah, cats are great because um, they're they're just so low maintenance. They're yeah, great. they just they kind of they just like don't really need you that much. Yeah, they're really quiet. <laughs> <laughs> and I've always wanted like a Labrador or a Golden Retriever. Mm -hmm. you know? I used to want a Dalmatian. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those dogs are really great. But then. Um, I feel like I would need a much bigger space. Yeah. And Labradors are my favorite. <laughs> Did you have any teachers in high school uh, or college that you felt like um, put you on a different trajectory than you would have been had you not known them? Um, Does that question make sense? I can explain too if okay, it doesn't sure. make sense. Um, so just, um, for instance, okay, so when I was in college, um, I, uh, one of my first classes uh, was a photography class uh, with this photographer named Skeet McCulley. He was from Texas. And um, he wore just like very unusual clothing, like a lot of, uh, I feel like a lot of like vintage type of clothing, but it was like before that was a thing, you know? Yeah. Um, so he dressed like very unusually and uh, and he just had these like really smart opinions about photography and art that I just never, I just never knew anyone that spoke that way about art that talked about it. And, uh, and as a result, so then like the photographs that I would do, he would talk about them in interesting ways. And so I feel like as a result, I, um, I just like really love art and photography. And I think I see it differently as a result of having classes with him. Oh, yeah. um, so like, I guess something like that. So I feel like he put me on like, knowing him put me on a path that's different than had I never met him before. Oh yeah. Um, there's this one teacher I had, um... I think it was either the first or second year I was in animation. She taught like this concept art, just or kind of concept art class where you like Photoshop painting mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Um, she's kind of like your teacher. Um, she always like tried to encourage everyone to like believe in their work and to like always keep trying to improve their stuff no matter what. Mm -hmm. And then like I think on the last day of class she gave everyone like these little. Um, Notes with like these um, compliments about like what she liked about their work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that just always stood out to me. So I've like always remembered to like keep trying. Um, yeah. No matter what. I know that sounds cliche, but she was a really great teacher. <laughs> mm -hmm. What was her name or what is her name? Uh, her name is Eve. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she's no longer with the school, unfortunately. Uh -huh. Did I, I think I may have asked you this already, but maybe in a slightly different way. Is there um, like a, a certain cartoon or animation? Was there one that was uh, really like inspiring to you that made you feel like, oh, like I want to do that? Um, there were a few when I was a kid, like Mickey Mouse. I know that's cliche too. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Like, I always like the animations on that, and um, with the Pixar movies, like Tarzan, and um, yeah, those types of movies, mm -hmm. those always um, had inspired me. What's something that you've seen that's maybe come out in the last five years that's animated that um, you felt really strongly for? Um, the Pixar movie Inside Out. That came, oh, cool. Yeah, that was really good. Um, I've actually only read about it, so it sounds really amazing, but yeah. I haven't seen it. I actually would... cried during that movie, which I never do, so that was <laughs> shocking. <laughs> How would you describe it? Like, what is it? What's the movie about? Um, it's basically about this 11 year old girl. She, like, um, moves with her family from Minnesota to San Francisco. Mm -hmm. It's basically, um, they have her emotions as characters that like kind of control her. It's really interesting and funny. Yeah. So it's just... like her different emotions have like a character? Yeah, there's like a character for joy, a character for sadness, a character for anger. I don't know if you've seen the trailers or not. What's the, the angry character like? <laughs> yeah, he's really angry. What does he look like? Um, he's red. Wears like a suit. <laughs> <laughs> what about the uh, Joy character? Um, she's yellow and has like short blue hair. I forget what color dress she wears. I think it might be green. Do you happen to remember who did the voices? Um, I think um, for Joy it was Amy. I think her last name starts with a P, but I'm not sure. Oh, uh, Amy Poehler? I think. That's who it was. Oh, okay. Maybe. I could be wrong. She did Joy. Okay. I could probably look it up, too. I thought that's who did Joy. Do you know who did the anger person, the anger character? Um, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think there's a character for nervous and another for sadness. But What's... I think she was the only one who I can remember. What does a sad character look like? Um, she's blue. Kind of has like blue hair. I think glasses too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you should watch it if you haven't. It's yeah, really good. that sounds that sounds funny. I like that. I like emotional movies too. Yeah, well, there's some of that in it too. <laughs> mm Tell me more about um, compositing. So, like, how does that work? Like, what's something, like, if someone, um, like, needed your services, like, what could you do, like, as a compositor? Like, I could replace the green screen with, like, whatever background, or um, I need to, like, put something into their scene, like, um, a picture or, like, a giraffe or something, I could put it in. Oh, cool. Yeah. Like, I know live action and some CG stuff, too. Uh-huh. Like, live action is, like, mostly the green screen stuff and things like that. Is there a movie that you've seen where there was, like, a really good example of that? Um, probably Jurassic World, because they have those, like, CG dinosaurs, like, composited uh -huh. in. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> do you draw or paint? Uh, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I mainly do more drawing, but I've started doing a little bit more painting recently. What kind of drawing do you like to do? I mainly like sketching. Um, I like drawing animals the most. I don't know why. I just do. <laughs> what kind of animals do you like to draw? Um, recently, it's been mainly like sea animals, like octopuses or oh, cool. seahorses, stuff like that. <laughs> That's really cool. But other animals are cool too. 
It's for I was just like doing uh, digital stuff and I hadn't done any like actual sketching in a long time or like hand sketching. Mm -hmm. And so like that would be, so like the octopus, you would do the octopus like in Maya. Oh uh, yeah. Like you can model it or like a rig on it so it can move. Um, what's your favorite kind of food or favorite restaurant? Um, I really like Italian food and Japanese food mm -hmm. the most. And I also like Mexican food too. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's a good Japanese restaurant around here that you've been to? Um, I really like Seasons of Japan in Berkeley. There's one in San Francisco that was really good. I can't remember the name of it, but it opened last year and they're just open at nighttime. They have extremely good ramen there. Oh, you like ramen the most? Yeah, uh, that's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. What's one of your favorite ramens? Um, I like misu ramen or... Um, Chicken ramen and sometimes seafood ramen too. Mm Did they do life drawing classes at your school? Uh, yes, they did. Mm -hmm. How'd you like those classes? They were interesting. I was, well, I was okay at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like sometimes we had to do these speed drawings. But I think I got better like towards the end as I got more practice. It's mm -hmm. been a while since I've done that. Did they have that at your school? Um, the school that I teach at, I think that they did. Um, they definitely do at CalArts. Um, but as a grad student, I didn't take any of those classes. But in undergrad, I feel like, in retrospect, I think maybe it was like the, the time. It was like kind of like late 90s, very early 2000s. Oh, yeah. And um, so it wasn't quite... You know, it was definitely getting more and more digital, like Photoshop classes and stuff like that. But okay. when I think back on my education back in those days, it was actually like, it was actually really traditional. Mm -hmm. um, so in retrospect, I feel like that's kind of like, I feel like what a lot of my memories are of college. It was like a lot of life drawing. Yeah. Okay, uh, the last question I like to ask is, um, what would you like to tell future Americans? I'd like to tell them to keep having hope and to not be afraid. That's really cool. Yes. Awesome, thank you very much. And, uh, thank you. Thank you for coming over. No problem.